All right, we're out here. Fountainhead on the Occoquan Reservoir. Gonna be doing some some bass fishing. Starting off with the uh, creature bait. I think this is by Havoc. Gonna be tossing this around. I actually sprayed it with um, some chartreuse spiky garlic. Just give it a little bit of color and smell. Gonna start in here, fish around these trees, and then these trees right up over here, this little shade line. And then uh, I'll probably jump to another dock, see what it's like over there. Have a pretty good feeling about this. I think the fish are just starting transition. It's like September 3rd right now. So we'll see how it goes. I got a good feeling about today. I think this is a little, it is. This is a little box turtle. You don't belong out here. What you doing swimming out here, buddy? Yep. It's a little box turtle. Swimming out in the middle of the reservoir, trying to get to the other side. So I'll help you out, little guy. Can't believe this guy's out there just swimming, trying to get to the other side. Come on, go, go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hopefully he can get up that side. He'll figure it out. Hopefully that brings some good karma and get some fish. There we go. There we go, first fish of the day, finally. All right, that's the first fish of the day, a little dink. Let's get this guy back in. All right, so I'm switching up to the Berkeley Pit Boss in like a pumpkin seed or like watermelon, I think it's a watermelon color. Just gonna spray the back end of it. We're good to go. That's what it looks like. Just give us a little bit more flamboyant color. There we go. It's bass number two, another little dink. Crush that though. It's a good sign. Dink number two came off the uh, Berkeley Pit Boss. Right off this little dock over here. Same cove as that first bass, so get this guy back in. Search for some larger bass. Get your mama to bite. So that bass came 10 minutes, 15 minutes after that first bass I caught on the crankbait. Slowed down. To flip through here see if there's any fish and that guy came up and ate it i got a good feeling there's going to be a few more back here hopefully there we go that's a nice bass Oh, I was not even paying attention. He's barely hooked. Oh my goodness. He came right off that tree. I was not even paying attention. Oh gosh. He's barely hooked. Oh yes. Gosh, get in the boat. That has been what I've been waiting for all day. It's been so slow today. Oh my goodness, he was barely hooked. That's a beautiful bass. I'll get a weight on him. I'm gonna guess this bass is around three pounds. Somewhere in there. Yep, 3.3 .3 ounces. It's a good bass. This is a beautiful fish. He absolutely crushed the uh, 
pit boss. Still got a bloody tail and everything. That's crazy. Must be shallow. There he goes. All right, day two. One day after I was fishing at Fountainhead, switched it up, decided to come to Burke Lake in Fairfax. Gonna be doing some bass fishing. Gonna start off with the uh, crankbait blue black herring pattern. Gonna see if we can get anything. Conditions are a little bit different. It's only about maybe 80 degrees, um, no wind at all. Gonna try to work deep, see if we can find some fish. Oh, there we go. It's a nice bass. I'm just playing them right now. Let's get them up. Come on, boat flip. There we go. That's a good looking bass for this lake. Let's go. There we go. That's the first bass. Just on this crankbait. Steep drop right here. He just came and crushed it. He's a fat little guy. Let's get a little bass for the for Burke Lake. Let's get this guy in. Good way to start the day. Got a bait blowing up over here. A little bait ball getting chased around. It's kind of just hovering right up here in the middle. Let's see if we can get up on it. See if we can get any fish. Yep, right in there. Oh, that was a, that's a fish. Yep, I think this is a perch. No, it's a bass. It feels like a bass. Nicer bass. Snagged him. Top of the lip. It's bass number two, though. Play him a little bit. Smaller than the first one. In the boat. There we go. It's a nice size fish for for Burke Lake. There we go. That's bass number two. Nothing special in size, but we're out here catching him. He's right underneath the bait ball out here, so it's good that they're chasing bait right now. Just starting to get a little bit sunny. Let's see if we can get any more of these guys. Hopefully a little bit bigger. See you, dude. All right, time to go to spot number two behind that island. All right, spot number two. Let's get it. All right, we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna flip with the creature bait to this grass. See if we can pull up a bass or maybe a snakehead. Oh, that's something. Nice little bass. I thought I felt something come up and hit it, but I guess it felt too small. Yeah, it's probably the same bass that hit it twice. Wasn't even paying attention. That's bass number three, right off this weed, weed patch out here. Came on the creature bait. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this guy has got a deformed tail. Oh my goodness. It's got a big hump on it. It's doing well though, he's a little chunky. Still about the same size as all the other ones. He missed it twice, came up back up and hit it. Wasn't even paying attention. Let's get him back in, see if we get any more. So all three of my fish that I've caught so far today, although they're dinks, they've all came off of weed beds, um, off of like shallow points in the middle of the lake or humps in the middle of the lake. This is a hump right here. Area I was fishing earlier is like a shallow flat. Um, these areas just provide excellent cover for bass and um, a lot of bait are running in and out of the area so you're gonna get a lot of bass uh, holding in those areas which make it just a little bit easier to uh, locate them so if you're ever out here struggling find the weed beds and you'll most likely catch some fish there's bait blowing up big time off this point over here we got to get over there all right turn it back up 
these fish are just getting blown up on out here. All right, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Oh my gosh, everywhere. Dude, come on. How am I not getting anything? I'm like in the middle of all of this. Make a long cast, reeling in. All right, didn't get anything through the bait balls and the bass. I think, it, I think it was actually white perch blowing up on that bait. Actually reeling in and saw a few white perch following behind the crane bait. We're gonna hop over to one of these points over here. Fish it, see if we can get anything. These are bass, without a doubt. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh, this is a good fish. Whatever this is, this is a really good fish. I think it's a bass. Finally got him, I was actually heading to the next spot. No, no, he came off, oh my God. That's terrible. Oh, that was such a nice fish. 